gentlemen, and welcome back to Welcome Back, uh, episode three here. This is the big one. This is the one that I have been waiting for, so excited about. Uh, we are going to be showing you how to build a chick shot. We're not going to go super in-depth about it. Uh, if you're looking for the specifics on how you can build one yourself, uh, I'll leave a link down to Justin Rhodes' page down below uh, in the video where I first discovered this thing, so you guys can check that out for yourself. But this is kind of a video of the, the walkthrough. Creating this thing! So you can see this is the finished project, and it was really cool. It was an easy enough project. It took me about two weeks. If you weren't making a video, and you had like a full, full weekend to dedicate to it, you could probably get it done in, in 48 hours, I bet. But this is our finished project. So if you guys want to see the process, stay tuned and follow me back in time. Perches, and we're gonna get those cut up and secured down shortly. Mantis on call right now, so we're gonna need to keep the power tool volume at a minimum. So I guess we're just gonna have to go the old school route. Flannel and flip flops don't prepare you for winter weather. Made a little bit more progress on it. All right, it's tarped up. So let me take this off and show you. So as you started to see yesterday, we got the poultry netting here. This is the one inch. And this is uh, now poultry stapled down to the bottom of the two by twos. We got the corner posts in, mounted with the little angle brackets there. And then we got the top frame screwed down as well. So today we're working on getting the support posts in, maybe even getting the nesting box uh, system installed. On we go!
so for the siding on the Chickshaw, I'm planning on using this uh, this metal roofing. These are leftovers from some dog houses that the previous owners had. We don't have dogs as of yet, so I've already salvaged one. We've got one left to disassemble. I'm gonna measure this out and we're gonna see what we've got and how that will translate to coverage on the Chickshaw. And if it works out well, we'll probably go with this. If we don't have enough material, I might go another way. This structure I'm in, by the way, uh, another leftover from the previous owners. From what we hear from the neighbors, uh, this used to be kind of like an old horse stall. Right now, I'm using it to store materials that I've salvaged uh, off structures we made. I think this was all from that dog house as well. This was flooring and siding for it. Uh, that was the roof, that was the frame, this was kind of the, the fencing that was along their run. This rubble we found in kind of a big pile of weeds. I don't know what this is a remnant of. I think there's still a lot out there that we still need to uh, clear out. Might be able to turn it into something someday. For now, it's doing a good job of storing stuff. Uh, let's measure these guys out, those guys back there, and we'll see what we've got to work with. Check how that measures up to the chick shot. It's not gonna work going the long way on it like I hoped it would, but it can work going straight up and down. I'm gonna check the other little dog house we have. Make sure the measurements are the same as the other two sheets of metal. You can actually see it right out there. Ready? You trying to get out of the rain? Up. So yes, the other two little roofing panels on the other doghouse will work. front side and we've got a 30 on the back side so we're gonna measure those and then we'll run a straight line across and then we'll just cut that line. The rain was coming back, it's still here, but I wanted to give you guys a quick look at the progress we've got. It's coming along really well. We're about to flip it over and put the wheels on. So after yesterday, we've got the siding done. I was able to salvage enough for the backs. These top pieces are kind of hodgepodge together of two little angle cuts there, but it got everything covered all the way up. Over around on this side, and then as of this morning, we now have a door with the latch installed. So it's coming along pretty well. The rain continues to fall, but it has been a productive 24 hours. We got the framing for the wheelhouses on and done. We had one wheel delivered yesterday and I got it all set. The second wheel just got here, so we'll be putting it on as well. And then we'll be able to flip this bad boy over. And there we go. Second wheel installed. Whole thing is up and upright. And looking pretty damn fine, if I do say so myself. We've got the roof on now. We got the latches as well. Roof lifts up nice. Still need to figure out what I'm gonna do for a pole that'll eventually be the handle and the little prop for the roof here. We're gonna get the cover for the roof uh, installed here in just a little bit. We've got material to get the, the arms attached for the handle over there and over here as well. And then I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for the actual handle itself. I'm gonna see if I have a, uh, a stick already cut that's long enough. If not, 
I might go see if I can salvage another one that'll save me another trip to the store. Sorry that we've been kind of lacking in uh, like time lapse shots the last couple days. The rain has been crazy. We've gotten like three or four inches. But if you've got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Let us know. So good, you guys. Wahoo! Still need to cut a little bit off the backs here. Probably take that down to about an inch or two off of that little edge. But that's there. I got the perimeter tacked down. Gonna go through here and get a few more tacks in the middle. And then top will be done. Boom bam! All I've got left to do is finish out the nesting boxes over in the back side. And then as you can see this right here is what we are going to cut to be our pole for the front. I think it should look pretty cool. So we're going to shave the bark off it so it's got a nice clean look. And then I've got to shave one end down a little bit thinner so that it'll fit. I cut it a little bit thick so that we could shave down enough to stick through but then kind of act as a stopper. And I think that'll keep it from going forward out that direction and then we can put like a little blocking pin on the other side here. Yes, the tripod couldn't quite take the movement, but pretty darn cool. Booyah, my friends. Look at that sexy beast. Oh, last thing we gotta do, finish cutting our nest boxes. folks nest boxes with a swiveling landing bar uh, oh, it's gotten a little bit tighter since I installed it last Ooh, yeah we're definitely gonna need to get something to keep those secured in the back we'll still be working kinks out as it goes that's for sure Let's see, I bet we could do a bungee cord across the back here. Just get some little eye hooks on the sides and run a bungee right along the back. That'd probably be quickest, easiest, cheapest way to go. We didn't have any eye hooks, but I got some screws put in here. And I got one in over here as well. We're gonna use our handy little needle nose pliers here and see if I can't put a little bit of a hook uh, into this guy. There we go. Just a little angle is all I need. Then we've got bungee here. Hook it on. Run it across. Hook it on. And boom. Now if anything knocks them out, I'll at least have something. Let me get my sweet new bungee out of the way. I also want to come in and put another little block 
underneath this guy in the nesting box. Whenever I put it in, it's not a huge deal as long as you keep the back supported. You can reach it all the way across and it'll sit just fine, but if you don't get it to the other end, kind of falls in a little bit. I don't imagine it being a huge problem. I think especially with that lip, the eggs would be fine if I did it on the way out. But I think it would just be a smoother pull in general if we had a little board for it to run under. Because these other ones, you can see down in there, have the side frame to run on. So when you pull those, they go, they go just fine. So I think a little something right underneath that guy will give it a nice smooth pull just like the others. Hey buddy. Hi. All right, let's see if this fits. I worked up this little guy. It should come in underneath. Set. Uh, oh, am I just snug enough? Yeah. Well, that worked out fantastically. I officially declare the chick shot ready for operation with our chickens. It's done. I've got a chick shot now. I'm super pumped. I love how it turned out. I think it's a functional piece and I'm excited to be able to put it to work. Thank you guys, as always, for checking us out. Please like and subscribe, tell your friends, and we'll see you the next time around. Have a good one, you guys.